This is Denver 7 On Demand. I'm Nicole Brady with the latest from Denver 7. Today, e-scooter companies can start applying for a permit to continue business in Denver. The city has been working on new guidelines for the dockless scooters ever since they started showing up on streets a few weeks ago. Denver Public Works is developing a pilot program which e-scooter companies have to sign up for. It would allow dockless scooters to be stationed at bus and light rail stations. Today, the access road to one of the most beautiful parts of Colorado is reopening. The road to Brainerd Lake Recreation Area near Nederland closed in mid-March for reconstruction. Crews rebuilt the entire two and a half mile access road. The new road is five feet wider and has a shoulder to make room for cyclists. A big shout out to Telluride and Steamboat Springs this morning. Both have been named two of the top three small towns to visit in the U.S. The ratings are from U.S. News and World Report. Jackson Hole, Wyoming was the other town in the top three. And now from the First Alert Weather Center, Lisa's here with a look at your forecast. Yeah, that snow on the video is looking pretty good right about now. Yesterday was so hot, 105, so we tied the all-time record high here in Denver. Now this morning, waking up to some hazy skies. Here's the view in Westminster. Typically, you can see the flat irons and the, the foothills right uh, just to the west of Boulder. Right now though, we're seeing smoke filtering in from the south and southwest from the fires burning here across Colorado. So we've got a hazy sunshine with our temperatures uh, still toasty, just not as hot as yesterday. Mid to upper 90s, you'll feel that change. It will be about 10 degrees cooler than yesterday. We'll get a few gusty thunderstorms popping up mainly on the far eastern plains and then more storms and showers tomorrow. Here's the weekend cool down. Saturday, upper 70s to low 80s. Chance for a little bit of rain by early afternoon, and then on Sunday, highs in the mid to upper 80s. So this is a nice but pretty brief break. We're going to be back in the 90s next week, Nicole. The good news is, at this point, no triple digits on this seven day. Mm, all right. Uh, this has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us. Check back here later for another update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Nicole Brady.